Good morning. How's everybody today? Hope you have a great day. Let's start with prayer, okay? Father, thank you for your goodness. And thank you for each one of our students and the helpers we have today. Please be with the kids as they study, as they finish out the year, help them to finish strong. Be with our government, help them to come to their senses and open the schools with no masks. Help everyone to stay healthy, help them to use good health habits so they can be healthy for your honor and glory. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, let's do our verses. Oh, here they are. Okay, ready. 1 Timothy 4.12, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Everybody stand up and help me, right? You standing up, Dario? Okay, let's see. How about you, Sal? Are you standing too? Stand up. Psalm 143.10. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. You, Psalm 75, 1. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Thee, John 16, 23. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. W, Psalm 56, 3. What time I am afraid I will trust in thee. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I never need to be afraid, God watches over me. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I never need to be afraid. God watches over me. Acts, Second Peter 1 4. Exceeding great and precious promises are given unto us. This week's verse is why. Matthew 5 14. Let's say it three times, please. Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. Okay, we are talking about being self-reliant. We're talking about the benefits, right? Proverbs 13, 4. The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat, sit down. Okay, we're talking about the benefits, okay? And we said it's something you can learn, right? You're little people, you don't, you mess up, right? You don't know how to do it, but you can learn, right? Okay, so let's see. What are some of the good things about being self-reliant? First one, gives you confidence, okay? When you know that you can figure things out with your own brain and you see something that you never did it before, and it you might say, hmm, might be a little scared. I don't, I don't know if I can do this. But what do you know? If you know that God gave you a good brain, and if you stop and think things out, maybe you can figure it out. So you say, well, I don't know how to do this. Never seen it before in my life, but I have a good brain. Let's see if I can figure it out. Is that a good idea? I think so, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Because you've learned. Just try. It doesn't hurt to try. So what if people, so what if you mess up and somebody laughs at you? Are you bleeding? Can you not walk anymore? No. You just, you laugh and you try again. But you're working at it, right? The other person who laughed at you, ha, ah, 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 did they learn anything? Can they do it? No, they're just there laughing, right? If you come across things and you don't know how to do it, say, well, I've figured out things before. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can find somebody to help me, right? It gives you confidence. That's good, right? I think so. How about this one? Um, life is scary sometimes. A lot of times things happen and you don't know what's going to happen next, right? Sometimes you don't know 
whether somebody's going to be angry at you. Some of you have daddies that drink. Some of you have daddies or mommies or grammies or whatever that get very, very angry for whatever reason. And that is scary. That is very scary. And you don't know what person will walk in that door today. At the end of the day, will it be happy daddy, happy grammy, happy mommy, or will it be the angry one? Will it be the one that's drunk, baracho? You don't know, and that is scary. That is very scary. Um, it, maybe you're, you're fortunate and you don't have those problems, but a lot of children do. Mm -hmm. Things happen in life, scary things, scary things. And it's like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, this year, Saudi lost his mommy. Saudi's mommy was killed. Mm -hmm. That's scary. That's really scary. Mm -hmm. Never see mommy again. That's really scary. But what do we know? If you know that God's given you a good brain, if you know the promises of God, remember our verse, for the verse X, exceeding great and precious promises are given unto us. If you know God's promises, you say, well, God promises to help me if I'm doing right, so I'm going to do right. God promises to give me wisdom. God promises he's not going to leave me all alone, so I'm going to trust God. To help me. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. When scary things happen, what can you know? God is there. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. That's why we teach you all these verses. Because life is scary. Bad things happen. You get confused. You don't know what to do. So God gives us those verse, verses, those promises, those exceeding great and precious promises, right? So if you learn how to say, okay, I'm going to take, take responsibility, then you say, okay, God, I'm scared. But I'm going to trust you because I know you love me and I know that you are my daddy. If God is not your daddy, do you have those exceeding great and precious promises? Are they yours? If God is not your daddy, are those exceeding great and precious promises yours? No, they're not. No, they are not. Just because you're cute and little and whatever, that doesn't matter with God. God says, you have to be my child. Now, God may help you, but he may not. He may not. He helps his children, number one. But he also helps children who are obeying and doing what's right. Remember we said, if you're off doing something, can you hear God talking to you? That's like sometimes God's Holy Spirit talks to me and says, don't you do that, but I want to. Don't you say that, but I want to. And sometimes I go, because I don't want to hear what he's saying. And I do what I know I should not say or do. I do it anyway, and I always get myself into trouble. God tells me. So what do you have to do? You want God's help? Be his child. Do what's right. As much as you can. Are you going to be perfect? No. We mess up every day. We sin every day. I do. Sin every day. Not that I mean to. Just... It happens. I'm human, okay? So, but, what, what can God do? We have confidence, okay? Okay, I messed up. God help me, forgive me, and help me to fix it, right? We have God's precious promises, right? If we take responsibility for our life, we know that God will help us, and it will give us confidence, 
confidence. Yes, I'll try it. If I mess up, God's going to be there. He'll forgive me if I mess up. He'll help me. I have confidence. I can try things that are hard. I can try things that are scary. When scary things happen, I can just say, okay, God, help me. Mm -hmm. And we can know God will always be with us, okay? But if we're waiting on people, oh, well, mommy, I'm with my mommy, I want my mommy, I want my mommy, 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 mommy. Mommy ain't there, pal. Mommy's not there. She can't help you, right? Your mommy's not there. She can't help you. Your mommy is not going to be there all your life. But God will be. Sally learned that sad lesson. Mommy cannot always be there. But God can. But God can. See, bad things happen. What does God want us to learn as little people? Do what's right and trust in me. Ask me for help. When you're scared, when you don't know what to do, what do you do? You pray and ask God for help. That will give you confidence, right? But if you're, I want my mommy, and you're not going to have confidence, and your heart is going to be broken, right? Now, does Sally miss his mommy now? I'm sure he does. I'm sure there are times when he misses her so, so badly. Because he loves his mommy, right? She can't help him anymore, can she? But God can. His Grammy is there. He has his Grammy and his 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 um, sister and his tio. He has his uncles and his aunts. And he has family to help him, right? God gave him a family. To help him. He's not all by himself. God gave him that, right? To help him, right? So what does God want us to do? Be a big kid. Take responsibility. And always do what's right. Our verse this week is, Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. When bad things happen, if you can say, okay, I can't do it. I don't know, but I can trust God. Will other people see that? Will they say, how do you do that? Everybody else is crying. Why aren't you crying? Why? Because we have God to help us, right? Right. Let's say our verse three times and we'll be done for today. Matthew 5, 14. Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world.